Hey fellas, I've been plugging away at this P61 and I'm almost finished. I've got um, got my base coats down and uh, got all my chipping done and uh, got my insignias and my wing walk lines painted and my numbers painted. So I'm going to clear coat this bad boy and uh, lay down the few decals that I had to lay down. Finish up painting the engines and the propellers and a couple other things. Ooh, that was a good neck pop. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, I thought I'd throw this video out there, just a, a short video, not real in-depth, but it does kind of show you how I went about painting and, and, uh, and chipping this thing. And then uh, the next video will be the final video. Uh, there will also be, I, I had somebody contact me earlier and wanted me to uh, make a video about uh, how I make my bases, and so I've got one of those in production right now. And uh, I just need to finish painting and weathering it. But I did put together a video on how I do it and how I uh, bend the acrylic rod and, and, and all those sorts of things. So I'll be putting that out also probably about the same time that this is done, uh, the next video is done. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so I'm starting off. I start off with a base coat as my primer coat of... Mr. Hobby GX2. It's a gloss black lacquer, and I use lacquer because I want a I want a good surface for the for the natural metal finish to adhere to. And uh, I thought I could possibly get away with using just the just the AK Extreme Metal Aluminum, but uh, in my experience, it it does peel up pretty easily off bare plastic, and I didn't want to take that risk because I am going to do some masking. So. Uh, after I got the GX2 down and the couple coats, thin layers of uh, aluminum, uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with some hairspray. And I decanted oh, my hairspray into a jar. I just haven't gotten good results with uh, spraying it directly out of the can, so I'm going to try shooting it with an airbrush. And I'm basically going to do this like a... Uh, did my B25 Mitchell, if you've seen that video. But uh, instead of using masking fluid for the chipping, since I'm going to do a lot more chipping and I'm going to do it uh, kind of, I'm going to, I think I'll have more control over the small chipping areas that I want to do with the hairspray technique. Now, I've never sprayed a big plane like this, and I'm going to spray the entire plane so this may be a disaster, I don't know, but uh, we will soon find out. Uh, in the meantime, I've been experimenting with different shades, and, and, and I, don't, I didn't want to paint it just straight black. And uh, so what I've done is, with this experimental piece, is I've taken, put a base coat of NATO black, on the natural metal finish, and this had like patches of natural metal finish. The the dark patches here that you see is, is actually black plastic that separated my my sections of aluminum. But I took uh, NATO black, put a flat, put a put a thin coat down. Then I took this XF17, which is a sea blue, and I kind of went around the panel lines and hit various areas with it, just to give it that that blue tone. And then I mixed NATO black with just a little bit of white just to give it various highlights. And I think I'm going to be satisfied with that. And I may play with it a little bit more once I start painting it on the actual plane. <clears throat> but I think uh, with this, then if I need to, I can come back over with the black and kind of give it a darken some areas with, with actual flat black if I need to. I think with with the chipping that I'm going to do and then I'll come in with a, a light gray panel line wash. I think that's going to give it a lot of visual interest and uh, I think I'll be I think I'll be satisfied with this but we'll see when we get there but I, I kind of like the way that looks so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to get to Spraying this bad boy with hairspray. I'll put two or three coats on it and then uh, we'll be back when I get ready to paint the the black 
Okay, fellas. All right, let's put the model down here. As you can see, I've got the base coats, the base coat down. And what I did was I took the NATO black, put a a eh, pretty thin layer of NATO black down, just so just get it covered. And then I came back with the sea blue XF17, I believe it was, and uh, did did a little squiggly pattern. It doesn't show up real well, but I, I, I would think if you would hold this up against just a straight NATO black, you could see the difference. It does give it a little little uh, of a bluish bluish hue to it. Then I came back with some light NATO black and just highlighted some areas. And I tried to stick around the panel lines. <clears throat> and then I went with the airflow. And uh, then I came back in places that I had a little too strong. Came back with a real diluted... Uh, NATO black and toned toned it down a little bit and uh, I came up with this and uh, You know, I'm happy with it so far, but it's one of those things you uh, you know, sometimes <clears throat> Sometimes you need to go bold at first and uh, For it to show up later on uh, Since I'm going to be using a light like a light gray panel line wash most likely that uh, you know, it, it, it may not make that much of a difference. It may actually uh, bring out this these lighter tones a little bit. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, what I'm doing now is I'm scratching the heck out of it. <laughs> and uh, I may be taking some artistic license. I'm not sure if they got this uh, beat up during the war. But, uh, that's what I'm doing. It's my model and uh, that's how we're doing it. So, I'm just going to show you how I do this. We can keep this in frame. And I've got my water. And I've also got a, a cap full of Vallejo airbrush thinner. Okay, so basically how I'm doing this, and I've got my hairspray down on the, on the model, and it doesn't seem to be coming off that easily, but I am working with it, and I'll show you how. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. And you can see some, some paint kind of got, yeah, you that. Since this is going to be beat up and weathered, I'm not real too concerned about, like, staining from, from everything, but. So, how I'm doing this, take my brush, and say I want to just chip around this corner, maybe a little bit here. Now normally, this would peel up really quickly, but for whatever reason, not sure if the, the coat, I didn't put enough hairspray on it or what, but it's not peeling off that easily. So what I've done is I'm wetting it and this will allow me to come in with a toothpick and just chip this away where I want it. This is rather time consuming. And I think if I would have used, like on the B25 that I did, I put all that masking fluid down with a toothpick. And I've since learned that if you just use the edge of a sponge and lightly put it down, you can get a little bit better of a result. You can see here, this is coming off pretty easily. But it's not coming off that well with, with just a brush. But 
but I was afraid when I was spraying this on, since I was doing it out of an airbrush, um, trying to control it, I think I control, controlled it a little too well, and uh, it, uh, I don't think I put enough on there for it to come off with just the brush. And that's how I do that. Now, if I want to soften it, I'll just take one of my my uh, Tamiya cotton buds, and I can come in here and dip it in the Vallejo thinner. And I can come out here and kind of soften these chips if I need to. Because this will take just a little bit off. And because it just doesn't strip it off right away you kind of got to rub it a little bit but it can soften the, that chipped area and kind of clean that out so. so that is how I'm chipping it So I'm just kind of playing with it, chipping it in various areas, um, taking my time doing it and making sure I'm not chipping away the entire paint job that I did, but I do want it to look pretty worn. And uh, so that's how I'm doing that. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. All right, got my chipping done and I got my insignias and my wing walk lines and all the paint the base paint work done that I'm going to do just to give you a good look at it in the light and uh, I think it's turned out turned out pretty good so far now what I was doing with the chipping <clears throat> I'd chip a little bit and then uh, set it down come back a little bit later do some more chipping and uh, it took me about a day and a half of chipping and then uh, when I came back the next morning and I looked at it, <laughs> I had really over chipped the heck out of it. And I really didn't like how it was looking. Which actually turned out to be a benefit because what I did was I took some NATO black and a fine airbrush. And went along and covered up a bunch of the chipping that I had done. And it, uh, by doing that, it really gives it a nice, um, a nice more patchwork appearance. And uh, I really like how that turned out. So, I turned a mistake into, uh, I guess, a happy little accident. So, that's how that, that's working out. Now, I still need to paint the engines up. I need to paint the propellers, but uh, I am definitely on the downhill slide. And uh, so, I'm going to get this clear coated, get the decals on, do a... Uh, a panel line wash and then see where I need to go from there and the next video I think will be the uh, be the finished plan so stay tuned and thanks for watching